more. I wish to know who was responsible for last night's outrage. Huawei Show. Huawei Show. Oh yes, welcome to the Wild Wish Show Radio TV. This is your boy DJ Grizzly, and today I'm hanging out with the rooted uh, maestro or creator. Where how, how, it's okay, I want to give you a proper a proper intro, ne? Yeah. So I think maybe if you do it, it'll make more sense. Like, who are you, Doug? Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I go by a lot, a lot of names, but right. um, when it comes to West Rooted, I yeah. go by my real name, Matabela mm. Tikwani. Okay. Yeah, but a lot of people know me as Flip. Right. Other people know me as Sloni. Other ones yeah. know me as Sloni Took It because I'm yeah. a photographer. Mm. So, um, talking about West Rooted, Matabela mm. uh, Tikwani. So, yeah. yeah. All right, man. So, so ladies and gents, there's, there's, there's a, something amazing that's happening here, right? So most of the clothes that you see here are made from scratch. Yes. This man sits in front of that. Maybe it's on that machine. El no, Roca. Like a Siwoon machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Omerix machine. No, it's a Siwoon machine. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> he sits in front of that machine and makes clothes. Yeah. That's amazing. Dog. That's amazing. And it, like you just, you're just around the corner. You're just here. Mm-hmm. And these are things that we don't know. No, this is amazing. But before we get into that, I'd like to um, touch on your humble beginnings to you being a businessman. Right? Yeah. So now, or let's start at the age of 15. 15, what were your activities? What were you doing? 15? Yeah. What was I doing? Um, I think besides I was, school. I was besides playing, school. Yeah. I was playing soccer. Actually. Oh, you were a soccer star? At 15, I was playing soccer. What other position of it? Um, I used to play three, I used to play six. Yeah. I was very versatile. Yeah. Were you yeah. good at it though? Um, you know, people say I was. <laughs> I, I, I had people what, what, say did, I was. what did you think? There were people that were better than me. You know, yeah. I've seen, like, I always say I've seen better. You know, if you think yeah. I'm good at something, like, mm. I've seen better. Not, not that I'm undermining myself yeah. or anything, but i've seen good yeah. people so I see. right so so what what what, what i'm trying to to get to here nah, yeah is the point where you decided to order neman i want to learn how to do tailoring it's tailoring right yeah like when when did that start when you were like how about get to the rock will that work for my life yeah you know when you say um when did that start? I feel yeah. like I'm taking credit away from my brother. Yeah. Because most of what you see here was done by my brother. Okay. You know, not by me. Yeah. Yeah. So. What's your um, brother's name? Tisetsu. Tisetsu. Okay. Tisetsu Tikwan. Yeah. yeah. So he's the one that did what you're seeing here. Basically, I didn't do any of this. You know. Okay. My brother did. Also, so, we gave kudos to him. To him, yeah. But he's your brother, so so, brother. so I think I think you can you can somewhat tell his story or like when when did he start? Like what was the first thing that he ever created? You know, this thing goes way back, you know. Okay. Because my mother, yeah, she 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 does clothes. All right. My grandmother as yeah. well, she does that, you mm-hmm. know. And um there was a time where when I started printing, mm. you know, like started printing and then my brother liked it. He did mm. his own um, label called Rinan and Logic. Okay. So one time he's like, you know what? He didn't know how to do anything. Mm. My mother could, but my mother's not here. Mm. She's in Lesotho. So okay. my grandmother was busy with her own stuff. Mm. My brother decided, you know what? Instead of me just printing stuff you know these cool colors there was a time where these cool colors were in you know mm-hmm. where you would with paint and stuff yeah, yeah. i remember used to those do that. yeah yes my brother used to do that he used mm. to do it for a lot of labels you know he, mm. they would go to him and say yo can you do this for me i want these colors and then my brother would do that mm. but one time he decided you know what i don't want to be selling other people's stuff mm. i want to go and buy material yeah. and do my own shirts mm. and also oh, well, at that time that's it uh, a little bit, you know, okay. you know, not not horoka yeah. straight because 
Nakata fell. Okay. So he wanted. So my grandmother nali pizika some stuff. There was mm. there's these um other maboma gogo lebono dingo manzevi. He went to them mm. to teach him. Wait, does he have friends? My brother, yeah, yeah. he does. <laughs> him and so, his friends actually went there. So what the friends was Boma Gogo or Jack, he has actual friends. <laughs> <laughs> he has actual friends. Okay, now I'm just messing he around. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so So he goes to Boma Gogo and and ask them Obamutu. Um, okay. So it turns out because my brother is very smart. Yeah. So he would do, you know, like he would do paperwork for them to mm. pay for I get about Muruta or Rock. Mm-hmm. So to pay back, he would mm-hmm. do paperwork. Okay. Because like we would want fun. Oh, they were running a business. And they stuff still about. are running a oh, business. Oh, yeah. Now. That's dope. Yeah. So even still today, even though my brother's doing other things as mm-hmm. well, Waroka and he's doing other things as well, but he mm-hmm. still does paperwork yeah. for, for Makok. Hey, his girlfriend must be very happy. You know? I mean, it's like, I like this. Like, I saw how to get like Get like rock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but no, that's a great story, man. So, Okoko Bamu Tusa, and then yeah. from there, he opens his own business. His own business. Okay. Human and Logic. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, it, is, is that the bigger umbrella for West Rooted, or are we still getting to how this came about? No, um, West Rooted... Um, no, let's, let's start at the RL. Let's, well, let's, uh, let's go with Logic. Let's yeah. Logic. Let's talk about Renan and Logic. Um, we had two separate... We both liked... We like clothing we like fashion you yeah. know uh both me and my brother yeah but um he had his own thing mm. and i had i had my own thing okay you know and then um one time we decided to merge yeah. them, them together but and then uh, logic he was selling that he was doing very well because mm. he was selling jack jackets and stuff he was making them from scratch right jacket selling them and then one time he just disappeared in the mm. business scene. He okay. just disappeared. Why was he uninspired in Korea? I mean, I'm tired. And I think consistency. That's yeah. something that we both. Because 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 you guys merged the business. I affect that on your side when he decided Hore, I'm going to take a break. Uh, no, no, no. Like the merging came after the break. Oh, so okay. I'm the one that brought him back. Yeah. It's like, yo, dude, you can do this. And I don't like where my business is going. Mm. And what you are doing is what I'm looking for. Mm. So, and because I have the, I can say the business mind of things. Okay. He's the creator. Yeah. And I'm the business. Mm. So I know how to run the business. I know how to market the business. Yeah. So that's how we got in that. And we get along. So yeah. I mean, you brothers. Yeah. yeah. Other brothers don't get along, but <laughs> <laughs> me and him, we really get along. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. So so how did um, West Rooted come about? Uh, West Rooted came because I was a freestyle rapper. Okay. Yeah, I used to rap. And then me and a friend of mine wanted to start a Facebook group. Okay. Uh, so my friend... I'm thinking about his name. How can I forget his name? Wow. <laughs> hey, what, 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 was, it, was, it really, was it really a friend? Yeah, still friend. is. What uh, could he Still yeah. is. Still <laughs> <boy. laughs> Lefronolo Ramaboa. Yeah. Uh, me and Lefronolo, we were sitting down. I'm both, I'm also Lefronolo. So mm. me and him, we were sitting down thinking about names, you know. Yeah. Like, yo, dog, we need to have a page. We need to have a movement, hip hop movement. Mm. Especially, we were thinking Mansi Vewabo. Mm. Then I'm like to him, how about we say Manzivo rooted? Oh, because mm-hmm. like we come from Manzivo. And then Lishonolo was like, no, dog, let's make it bigger. Yeah. West rooted. So mm-hmm. you understand where the name West rooted came from? Yeah. From the Lishonolo Ramabo. He said mm-hmm. West rooted. But we ended up with the name um, Hip Hop Evolution. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm on that page. Yeah. 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 Then we came with that mm-hmm. where um, Hip Hop Evolution. West Rand. Yeah. So we were coming with the name, but now, um, after a while, I'm like, you know what? I like. I'm always about movement. You know, mm. I like what's happening. This the clothing scene and the, and the West Rand. You know, mm. I need to. I need a shop. You mm. know, I need to start a shop and sell everything that's, like your clothes, mm. um, someone else's clothes. One shop selling mm. them. I'm like, you know what? Let me register 
West Rooted as a clothing shop, mm. you know, because it's registered as West Rooted Trading and Stores. All right. You know? So, yeah, I was thinking, you know, let me open up a shop. But mm. now, after designing these, people started liking them. Mm. And I started selling them, and I had a lot of disagreement with other people. They... Mm. They think, because um, I want, you can't just sell things without getting anything out of it, you know? Because yeah. I was saying, you know, how about I sell, if you're selling for 150, how about I get 20 for selling? Mm. You know, a lot of people didn't think it was a good idea. So that's how. But but that makes a, it, yeah, it's one of the shop right president. I mean, mm. they open up a place and they sell other people's stuff to gain a profit. They yeah. don't see it that way. They okay. don't see it that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They think I was ripping them off. Yeah. And I was going to do the marketing and everything for them. So, mm. yeah, that's how West Roots came about. I started yeah. selling only West Roots and stuff because people said they like it. Uh, also, you have a shop where you sell selling stuff. It's not an online order where someone can order and then you deliver. I, I didn't end up opening the actual shop. Okay. Yeah. But for now, it's just online. All right. Yeah. All right, man. So, so, so the colors that you choose, um, do you just randomly pick up colors and then create something from scratch, or do you have specific colors that you use for what's rooted? Um, in terms of um, what people want to be designed, they okay. can actually tell us. Yeah. You know, also, somebody can just come and add. Okay, look. Uh, gold, and you guys do that. Yeah, if it's doable, and um, in terms of price. Sometimes yeah. you talk about the price before. Mm. If it makes sense mm. for the price of one guy, and if it makes sense, then yeah, we do it. So, so a basic, a basic T-shirt, like a, like something West Rooted logo, yeah, like a, the simplest T-shirt that you have. Like what's it, price range? It's either from 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 how much? We start from hundred and fifty to two hundred and fifty. So okay. it depends on the material. All right. Yeah. Also, the material, not the design. So somebody can easily say to you, okay, look, I like this logo on the 250 t-shirt. If you don't have it on that, so you'll just take it there and just print. My, or, print, my yeah. print guy charges me the same price, you know, okay. for, so I can swap it around, however. Yeah. Also, your most expensive t-shirt is 250 Yes, for now. All right. So you have t-shirts. What else do you have? What, what, what can people look out for? I have um, pants. Okay. I have. Um, I, I think, think you can pick them up and just just show them yeah, to the camera. Yeah, I have like these ones. Yeah. These pants. These are high waist for 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 women. Okay. Yeah. I almost said something, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for all sizes, right? For all sizes. Big girls, tall girls, short girls, skinny girls, any girl. We gay guys that like high waists. We don't care. Like, yeah. We we are running a business, right? And we also have tracks, yeah. Yeah, we also have tracks, yeah. yeah. We have shirts over there. Right. Shirts and shirts. So you only do the high waist, you don't do the skinny pants and whatnot. Um we do. We do okay. we do the unfortunately um they sold out. <laughs> right. yeah. No, that's so, a good thing. That's a good it thing that good it's thing. moving. You know? it, is, it is a good thing. Uh, yeah. When I was preparing for the interview and other things were selling, I'm like, yeah. you know what? Um, business, we can still market with the ones that I have and yeah. tell them that we can do mm. what they want us to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right, man. So is there, is there any... Um, so for me, it was rooted something that's more personal. It's personal. Um, how I got introduced to it is more in self of love through a personal relationship with him. So I fell in love with it. Um, seeing the work, how he does it behind the scenes and all that. So um, he started asking me about, you know, throwing in suggestions. But um, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? So that's how I started to fall in love with with, with Rooted. So when we started working together, um, you know, as a model, right, I started modeling for him. So. I, that's what that that's how it actually changed me. So it it also um, contributed into in, in terms of like my growth into um, as a as a model. So yeah, I must say it, it has been great working with him. And um, shout out to to the twins as well. So they've also put in some work, uh, Munei and Mutei. 
So they put in some work before I did. So that that that's good for them. Okay, I believe that West Rooted is a very nice brand. It's a very beautiful product. Um, um, the clothes, it's beautiful. Like he has very beautiful clothes. Um, I wouldn't say I've been in this. For have you stolen any clothes? <laughs> no, but I have few of my own. <laughs> no stolen, but bought few. So, um, yeah, I mean, I I'm doing the modeling for him. Um, we're friends, actually. So, but I'm not into modeling, yo. This guy wants to dress, yo, guys. So, but he believes, Jorge, I, I have the, the, the face and the, the body for, for his clothes. Um, obviously, um, he do all um, things, right? Um, sizes for everyone. It doesn't matter how, whether you're big or you're small, skinny or what. But yeah, it's, it's a very beautiful um, clothes. Like, he has beautiful things. You guys should just go out there and check them out. Thing that uh, you'd like to talk about that I'm not touching on now. Um, Something that we missed, maybe. I don't think there's anything that we missed. All right. So, so um, where can people order your stuff? Um, we you can um, we have a WhatsApp. We have a WhatsApp number, okay. which is should I say? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is um zero eight four zero five zero five three six eight. All right, and so it's just strictly on WhatsApp. On Facebook, do you have a page where people can view photos as well and whatnot? We have a um a Facebook page. We have an Instagram page. Sure. What What are the names? Um, West 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 Rooted Upper. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. So be sure to hit them up on WhatsApp or check the Instagram. DM, inbox, whatever you do. And prices range from 150 to whatever. Whatever, yeah, it yeah. depends, you know. <laughs> Winter clothing, you've got summer, everything. You got, you got. Shorts, you've got you everything. Got, you I got mean, shorts. but you create clothes from scratch. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm betting who you have everything set. Yeah, we have everything. Yeah, man, it, it, it's a pity that your brother is is attending to other things and he couldn't be here. Yeah. But I'd like to say, man, this, this is amazing, you know. Yeah. It's, it's it's actually the first time I sit down with a person that creates something from scratch. Actually, I respect that. You know, yeah. you guys creating something from scratch and then designing it for people to wear. That's yeah. that's amazing, though. You know, yeah. you guys must keep pushing, and people should support because you know how people are full of shit. Yeah, know? I know. I don't think anybody can copy creating something from scratch. That's hard. No, they can't. Yeah. <laughs> People can try, you know. You can yeah. try, but you can't make it exactly how yeah. we made it. And all, I'm, I'm not, I'm not against that. You know, mm. if you're seeing something that I made, mm. and you go and make it, and so I don't do that. But but if someone does that, mm. I don't mind. You know, because mm. it's 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 competition, and we don't have the same customers. What's KFC without chicken licking? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know? we, <laughs> we don't have the same customers. Yeah. So know? so are there are there other people? that you'd like to thank within the business that are helping push this? Because I know there's always people behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah. Um, all the models. Yeah. appreciate them. Mm. Uh, my brother, is, as I said, he's the one that does all the designing. And um, I'm just the business. Yeah. I just run the business. My, my brother does everything from scratch. Yeah. Tapelo Rajo, mm. the, the guy that, desi that does the designing for me. You know, okay. he did the logos. He's the one that prints for me, mm. you know, like he's an amazing dude and he charges me reasonably because yeah. the price that he charges other businesses and mm. other people, it's not the same with the ones that he charges me, you know, right. so like I, I got a family price, mm. which I appreciate him. All right, man. Even the organization, Yabu Makoko, do you know the name? I, I don't know the organization, Yabu Makoko. But it's in Manzaville. It's in Manzaville, you, know? you know, like. Shout out to them as well because yeah. they created a legacy. Yeah. You know what? I, I will I will show to find the name and write it on my on my um, Facebook page and yeah. just thank them for for, <laughs> for what they told my brother. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate that. All right, man. Um, ladies and gents, uh, this is West Rooted hanging out with the Wild West Radio TV, and peace, peace.